Welcome back. Today we're going to be tying a hot spot hair's ear. So the hook I have in the vise is a full and mill jig hook, size 12. And the bead I have on that is a 3.8 gold mill tungsten slotted bead. The thread I'm going to be using today is Semperfly Black 80 waxed. So just making sure the bead's sitting on the hook the right way. Catch your thread and behind the bead just to try and get the bead set tight. That's a great wee pattern. I'm tying it in a 12 today, but I have them in my own boxes, probably down to 16s or so. So just take your thread on down just past the point. Nice and easy. There we go. Trim off our waist. <clears throat> so for the hot spot, the wee tag, I'm going to be using some Glow Bright number no. 5. It's like a hot orange colour. So just peel off about three strands. Set it on top of the shank. Roughly running up to where your, your gold bead is. Catch it in, pull it under the top, and just tie down all the excess. Doesn't matter if the turns aren't touching the whole way up, again, we'll cover it on the way back down and we'll be bringing the dubbing back up as well. So, once we're back up, either to the bead or somewhere near it, I'm going to tie in some wire. The wire I'm going to be using. A side by 0.31 mil gold wire. You could use gold oval tinsel or something, but I like I like the wire. You can get a good tight pull down under the dubbin with it. So to tie it in, I take the end and push it up into the slot. Tie it down. Again, you have to nice tight turns. Pulling down in the thread just to help lock the wire in place and bring it all down to where you caught in your glue bright tail. Just making sure, <coughs> leave it a thread there, keep going till we cover it all up. Just making sure the floss is still on the top of the shank. So, for the dubbin, I'm just going to be using some hair's ear dubbin, something. I mixed it myself, it's, it's nothing special, just a hair's ear mask or a hair's mask pulled off a pile of the dubbin into the coffee blender and give it a couple of buzzes. So just tease a bit out and then it's nice and easy to dub on. There's not an awful lot of guard hair in it, quite a lot of the soft under fur so binds onto your thread quite well. So again. Just dub on two or three inches or so, depending on the size of the fly. Just a nice double noodle, reasonably tight where it's going to be starting off, and then you can loosen it off as you go down just to help create a taper in the body. And don't worry if you haven't enough on to do the entire body, you can add a bit or take a bit off as required. So, nice tight turns. Building up good taper to the body. There's a wee bit loose there, so we'll just a couple of twists to tighten that down. Keep them going, and you can see we're just a wee bit shy. So take another wee pinch. And just dub it on. It's a lot easier to add a bit than it is to take a bit off. So. There we go, we're just covering everything up nice. Right up to your bead. Oh, there's the thread broke. Not to bother. Just get that fixed. So, again, we'll just catch on. We'll cover those threads up. That were broke. 
<coughs> that shouldn't affect the durability of the fly. There's nothing really unraveled. So there we go. That's that. Drama resolved. Take your gold wire. Again, holding your floss to make sure your tail stays on the top of the shank. One turn over your floss. A couple of reasonably tight turns. And then as you move up your shank, just widen it out. The beauty of using wire is you can really pull down into the dubbin. Gives you a nice segmented effect. And just keep widening up till you get to where your eye is, or the bead, sorry. Now catch your wire in. Half a dozen or so turns in front of it. And a few on the other side. Just worry it off. There we go. So for the thorax, I'm going to be using some hair's ear ice dubbing. Really easy to dub with a synthetic material in through it. So once again, just take off a small pinch. It's got like a pearl green effect material through it. I just dub it on. Don't worry about getting it dubbed on too tight. We want it to be quite bushy, buggy looking. So again, just create a thorax. Three or four turns. And then that should do us there. So what I'm going to do now is just get my varnish. Get a bit of varnish onto my thread before I whip finish. Just take the double needle, spot a varnish, rub it up and down. And <coughs> tease. You don't have to get them all, but just try and tease as many bags as you can. Two or three turns, just to get the varnish to soak into the thread and whip finish. Again, plenty of varnish on it. Four or five turns would be ample. There's four, and we'll get another one on it. There we go. Trim off our waist. Excess thread. Now, just pull your floss tail reasonably tight, and you can cut your tail to whatever length you want. You can either have it nice and short, a very small tag, or slightly longer. I like to take it sort of to the bend of the hook, trim it off, and just to tease out some of our thorax, I have the velcro here, a couple of rubs. There we go. If you think there's any fibres there, just stray in too long. Either pull them out with your fingers, or just nick them off with the scissors. And there we have hot spot hair's ear nymph. Like I said earlier in the video, create a wee pattern, I wouldn't be without it. I have quite a few of them in my box in various sizes. It's a super sort of all round pattern. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe.